and it's coming back for a third series. Guess who I'm talking to right now? Only Laura Prepon who plays Alex. Hi, Laura. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. I've just been uh, enjoying hearing how you and the rest of the cast are swanning around in Paris. It sounds like it's a pretty good gig. Oh my God, it's the best gig. Paris is amazing, and we were just we just flew in from Berlin last night, and it's very exciting times. How does it feel now that people can finally see season three? Are you tired of sort of like batting away people in the street, like wait for it to come on Netflix? <laughs> I'm really excited because this season for Alex especially, there were many different things I got to play that were so incredible and uh, I'm really looking forward to the fans to see it because um, you see a lot of different sides to Alex this year and you get to learn more and more about her and about all these other wonderful women behind the bars of Litchfield and it's just awesome. I'm glad you said that because I was a little bit upset that I didn't see as much of Alex as I wanted to in series two but you definitely make oh, up for it you. in series three. Yeah um I know I wanted to do more in season two and uh but uh the scheduling conflict was worked out and Genji and I knew I was coming back for season three before anybody we already had known that but they wanted to announce it at the right time but yeah it's phenomenal I'm so excited to be back I miss the girls so much I miss playing Alex every day I'm it couldn't be I couldn't be happier you've obviously been part of a huge tv show before with that 70s show does it still surprise you though how into this show people are I mean it's huge the reaction we got just from like the first uh, few like screenshots and like bits of press that we saw everyone was like super super excited does it still surprise you yeah it's i mean it's amazing you know you you could only hope that audiences will gravitate to a project that you're working on as much as you love it and you know the fans are just amazing i mean the fan base and they're just wonderful they're so supportive in the, the fan art and everything they love about the show it's just it's incredible and also now because there's so many platforms for shows like there's a lot out there to kind of distract everybody and the fact that we're going into season four which is hard enough to do already but that we've really kind of made our stamp you know we were here and we're not it doesn't seem like we're going anywhere and it's great and thank you to the fans for for doing that we're trying to get through this entire interview by the way laura without giving away any spoilers oh my goodness when you reveal a spoiler people are it's like they want your head so what i wanted to ask you about is if you have a favorite scene from the current series that you particularly enjoyed filming that's a hard question to answer because my character goes through so much this season from you know the beginning of the season genji was like Okay, Alex is a wounded bird. I mean, she's she's yeah. broken, literally broken. Having to portray those scenes, and Taylor and I have some very, very intense scenes towards the beginning of the season, which were so amazing. I mean, season three is one of my favorite seasons. It's so great. And then, you know, then I have this amazing flashback episode where you get to see even more about Alex and her relationship with Piper, and that led to a whole other group of amazing scenes. So it's really hard to choose because I really got to spread my wings and and you know, flex my acting muscles even more so than this show already kind of pushed me to do. So it's hard for me to pick one scene now, I'm sorry. I feel like we circumnavigated that whole question without there being any spoilers, this is good. I do my, I gotta do my little tap dance. BBC Radio One. Laura, just before you go, right, um, obviously Orange is the New Black, it's a lot about relationships and friendships and people relying on those uh, friendship and relationships in order to survive on the inside. And I do something on my show called the Best Friend Test, where I get someone to call up their best friend and ask them a question that only a true best friend would have the proper answer for. The other person has no idea that we're recording it for radio. Sometimes people cry and it gets a little bit awkward, but it always makes for quite an interest to listen. Okay. I feel like we've spoken enough now, Laura, that I could well, maybe I couldn't call you my best friend, but I could maybe call us mild acquaintances. So all I'm going to do is just run past the best friend test question with you and you can answer as truthfully as you want. How's that sound? Okay, let's see if I pass the best friend test. All right, here we go. So I'm going to play it like I've just called you up right and so just a normal conversation here we go <clears throat> hey laura it's dev hey how's it going yeah yeah not too bad how's paris it's great just you know promoting the show it's awesome they're looking after you yes very much so you've been out to see the chandelise yet yeah well i've seen that before yes ah okay it's not as big deal the second time around is it <laughs> It's always beautiful. Well, look, I feel like I'm beating around the bush a little bit. I've actually got quite a, quite a big question I need to ask you, Laura. Okay, well, yeah, tell me. Well, look, you know we've been friends for ages. I can call you up for almost anything, right? You've been there for me in my hour of need. Absolutely. 
Um, so, well, you know, it's just me and my big mouth. I've got myself into a little bit of trouble. Here we go again. What'd you do this time? Well, this Friday, I've got a bunch of friends coming around. We're going to have a box set evening. We might even watch Orange is the New Black, all right? Okay. Here's the thing. I may have been saying to my friends for the last couple of months that I have a famous girlfriend, all right? And me and you know that that's not true. Don't even have a girlfriend. So, I was hoping you'd come around to mine on Friday and just pretend, just for like two hours, just pretend that we are boyfriend and girlfriend. But they know I'm your best friend, so how's that going to work? Well, just because we're just pretending, we'll just say we started off at friends and that we've elevated that relationship. Oh, okay, a lot people. of relationships start off that way. Right. So, I mean, a lot of them end that way as well. But, you know, I'm just reckoning that I reckon we could make it, you know, for two hours. I think we could fake it. I would absolutely do that for you. Well, before you agree, can I just run past a few provisos, please, Laura? Okay, well, are you going to... Okay, are you going to make it weird? Mm, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> do you mind... Do you mind... Do you mind calling me pumpkin at least four times in front of my friends? Okay, how about two times? Three? Oh, fine. What's the next question? Okay, good. We can settle on that. Um, could you sort of compliment me as well, like, in front of them? Like, maybe laugh quite hysterically at a couple of my jokes. Just so, you know, he's so funny, sort of thing. Yes, I can do that for you. All right, really good. Maybe at some point in the evening... You're going to ask me to kiss you. <laughs> no, no, no. I wasn't going to say I wasn't going to do that. I mean... That's going to be weird. Best friend doing that. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. I don't want to make it weird. But at some point in the evening, just maybe just an impromptu back rub. Hmm. Okay. Now, you're pushing it a little bit, but maybe for a little bit. Sure. Oh, Laura, you're a, you're a power. Is this a definite yes? Yes, yes. So I'll see you around at mine on Friday. <laughs> yes. I'll compliment you as well. When we're watching Orange is the New Black, I look over at you and be like, oh, you look so good in orange, Laura. Oh my God, that would be amazing. Thank you. Got to give a bit back, innit? Can't be all one way. Right, exactly. Thank you. It's a two-way flow. Laura, I think that, I think that you've passed the best friend test. I think this is, uh, I think this goes something. You are a good best friend. I'm an amazing best friend. Thank you. And it sounds like you would be too. Although you were asking a lot. <laughs> Just a very demanding best friend. Very demanding, but it's okay. Well, look, Laura, a lot of my listeners, myself included, are really, really excited about the third series of Orange is the New Black. We're really looking forward to it. I'll hopefully speak to you just before series four. Yes, thank you so much. Be lovely. Laura Preep on there.